In this lesson, we will discuss how do you configure the Doctrine Command Line Tool. The Doctrine Command Line Tool is a shell script which resides under the Vendor Bin folder. You'll notice it's actually a symbolic link to the Doctrine source code, Doctrine ORM Bin Doctrine. After installing Doctrine, if you attempt to run the Command Line Tool immediately, you'll notice that there's a configuration file which is required. The name of the configuration file is cli-config.php. This can be in the same folder as your project root, or alternatively, you could put it under the config folder. There are three main stages involved in this file. The first thing you'll need to do is to configure Doctrine Autoloading. Next, you'll need to get an instance of the Doctrine Entity Manager. Finally, you will return an instance of the console runner using the Entity Manager as an argument. In the Working Files folder for this chapter, you'll find not only the cli-config.php file, but the subsidiary files as well. The first of these is doctrine underscore autoloader.php. On line 4, we get an instance of the Composer Autoloader. Composer automatically generates a file autoload.php in the vendor folder. Its return value is an instance of the Composer Autoloader. You can then use the add method to add a namespace prefix followed by an actual directory path to where the files for this particular namespace are located. You'll notice for Doctrine, there are seven namespace prefixes which we need to account for. Annotations, Cache, Collections, Common, DBAL, which stands for Database Access Layer, ORM, which represents Object Relational Mapping, and Lexer. You'll notice that each namespace subdivision represents a separate directory structure. Thus, the namespace Doctrine Lexer is represented by files under Vendor Doctrine Lexer Lib. On line 16, we add an additional namespace, which represents the actual source code for our own application. The namespace in this example is called Application, and the source folder is located directly off of the current directory. Returning now to cli-config.php, we next need to generate an instance of the Entity Manager. We've encapsulated this code in a separate file, entity.manager.php, which is also in the Working Files folder for this chapter. The first thing we need to do is to specify an array of directories which contain our Doctrine Entity class definitions. In this example, there's only one, Products, which is located under Application Entity. Next, we are able to specify a series of use statements which allow us to reference namespaces outside of the current namespace, which is the global namespace. Thus, we can access Doctrine ORM Tool Setup, Doctrine ORM Entity Manager, and so forth. We then create an instance of the annotation driver using the annotation reader class and the path array specified on line 3. On line 20, we use the Doctrine ORM Tools Setup class, identified on line 6, and its Create Configuration method to generate a Doctrine Configuration object. Notice on line 15 and 16, there's a note that you can also use an XML file or a YAML file as a source. Otherwise, we will assume that the source of the configuration comes from a PHP array. On line 17, you'll see a note about the parameter for Create Configuration. If the parameter is set true, it's assumed that we are in development mode and any caching is done in memory. If you set this parameter to false, you can configure Doctrine to use alternative caching mechanisms including APC, Xcache, Memcache, or Redis, all of which are PHP extensions. On line 19, we have a reference to a website with more information on advanced configuration. On line 22, we gather the database parameters, which are in a file, database.params.php. In this file, we return an array with parameters appropriate to the particular driver that we're using. In this example, we're using the PDO extension and the MySQL driver for that extension. The parameters are appropriate for this extension, which include host, DB name or database name, user, password, and driver options, which again are specific to this particular extension. Finally, we return an instance of the Entity Manager using its create method, supplying the database parameters and the Doctrine config object as arguments. Returning now to cli-config.php, 
the last thing we need to do is to return an instance of the console runner class using the create helper set method with the entity manager as an argument. We can now execute the command again, and you'll notice we now have a help screen with a list of the various commands which are available. So in summary, how do you configure the Doctrine command line tool? You first configure Doctrine for auto-loading. You then retrieve a Doctrine Entity Manager instance. You would then configure a file cli-config.php, which incorporates the auto-loading configuration, the Entity Manager, and returns an instance of the console runner. You can then execute commands from the command line using vendor bin doctrine.